All parties in the matter of West versus Ebel, step forward. Jonathan West is suing his former friend, Patrick Ebel, for money loaned while on vacation in Nicaragua and stolen property. I have to tell you, Mr. West, before we start, sir, I'm skeptical about your case. I understand that, Your Honor. I hope you understand that, sir. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Arlington, Virginia. What kind of work do you do? I'm in finance for the government. Which department do you work for? I work for NAVC. It's a Navy contractor. And what about you, Mr. Ebel? I'm in sales. For whom? For a company in San Diego. Where do you live? I live in Bethesda, Maryland. And how long have you been with them? Uh, about two years. Are you commission or on salary? I get some salary, but mostly commission. So you and Mr. West are friends. And when you're involved in sales, this company who's on the West Coast, is that where their main office is? Uh, the main office, yes. Do you understand why I'm skeptical about your case, I Mr. Do. West? I do, ma'am. I think I have it. enough ev evidence here to prove you don't have to be skeptical. It's a real case. It's yeah. really happened. Yeah. So. You're going to have to convince me, Mr. West. Sure, I can do that. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> Big time, doubt it. I have receipts, I have pictures, I have itineraries. You know, whatever I can do to, to prove you, you know, that this is a real case, I'd love to have the opportunity. Why would you even think that I would think it wasn't a real case, Mr. West? Maybe because I didn't say, I'm, I said I'm just skeptical about your case. Why would you think that I would even think that it wasn't a real case? That is odd. When I said I'm skeptical about your case, what would make you think that I would think that it was not a legitimate case rather than being that you had no case, I understand. Mr. West. It's, it's a complicated case. Um, I feel no, like it's not complicated, sir. I'm a really a very smart lady. That's why they keep me here. Yes, ma'am. So what do you think is going through my mind now when I said to you I'm skeptical about your case and you say to me I have all the evidence here, so I want to show you that it's a real case rather than just, I have no case. That was the, the adjective I used. I apologize, I did not mean to use that. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Did you have a good time last night? Um, did you? I'm asking you. I'm just asking you a question. I, I, I said, yeah. did you have a good time last night? You're I mean, in a new place. You're in LA, right? Yes, yes. Had a Flew good time. you here. Mm -hmm. What I'm asking you is, did you have a good time last night? Yes, I had a good Where time. Where did you have dinner? At the hotel. With whom? By myself. All by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're going home today? No, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And you came when? Last night. Got in about 5 o'clock. So you really only had a day. And you're mm -hmm. going home tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Did you get to see your boss? No. Um, I come back in two weeks. I'm to San Diego. Okay, Mr. West, this is what your case is about. You and Mr. Ebel were friends. You were going to Nicaragua with a whole bunch of other people. And you say that Mr. Ebel didn't pay what he was supposed to pay. He was a deadbeat. He got on the trip with you, and all of a sudden his credit cards were maxed. You had to help him out when he was there. Then he stayed an extra three days after the rest of you left because he came three days late, and he owes you all kinds of money. Yes, What's your defense? I don't know him anything. Hi, I just want to know what your defense is. Oh, yeah. If he paid for anything for you, what, what's your defense? Well, my defense is that he really wanted me to go on this surfing trip, and he begged me to go, basically. He's like, you got to go on this. I really want you to go. And I told him, look, I don't have time right now at the time. Did I don't have the money. Did they not know that we were brought up in Brooklyn? Well, I was. At least. Did they not know that? Where do you originally come from, Mr. Evil? Maryland. Maryland. And you? Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> you know, Mr. West, let me tell you my problem. If I get a stinky sense of the case, but you know, sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes happens. So I don't want you to be put out if this is one of those cases where I'm wrong. I don't want you to be a thousand bucks or whatever you yes, think he owes you. So I'm gonna dismiss your case without prejudice and you can go back and sue him in Maryland or Virginia because he's right over the bridge. Got it? Perfect, goodbye.